our video tutorial on scatter plots in R part six. Add more lines again. Okay, this is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody can use it. All right, let's get started. We're going to go back to the baby's data set that we've been playing with in the last couple videos, and we're going to read it in again just so we're repeating things over and over and over again. Uh, I still have the code that I had here before, and the only thing I've done is taken and commented out the PDF statement and the dev.off. Later I'm going to uncomment it, but what I want to do here in this particular video is add lines to this. I learned in a previous video how to add regression lines to a specific plot, but now I want to add in more than just a single one. So let's go through and start adding in uh, lines on here, lines of best fit. And if you remember, it's AB line is what the function was. And then I use the LM function inside of that to give me the slope and the intercept. And this is our only issue is, is we have to go back and mix in what we did in another video, which was subset things. So first thing I'm going to do is set these things up so that I can fill them in here in a minute. So I know the first color was three for our AB line. I'm going to have another one. I'm just putting in these as temporary holders at the moment. Don't worry, they're going to get filled in. The color was 12 and AB line LM. And the color here was 24. Okay, so now I need to subset the data like I did in a previous video. So I'm going to make baby 12 equal to baby 1 dollar sign, age, wait, nope, not the dollar sign, baby one, where baby one, dollar sign, age is equal to 12. And I want all the columns. And you say, wait a minute, what about the ones that are three? Which is correct. I do need to make that one as well, so I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to copy and paste this, though, because copy and paste will help me out tremendously. So let's copy and paste this thing in. Baby three, like I had before, and I'll change that to three. And I'm going to do this again for 24. So here, the 12 become a 24. And again, 24. And so now I'm set up. So now all I need to do is baby three dollar sign. Well, I haven't ran it yet, so it doesn't know what it is. So my tooltips aren't working. And you'll find that if you don't run things, tooltips don't work because R hasn't seen it yet. But now watch, I've had baby three here. I can do baby three dollar sign. My Y value is X two. And then my tilde or twiddle, then baby three dollar sign X one. That should work for that one. And then I'm gonna copy and paste again because there's no need to keep typing when you don't have to, especially when you have the fat finger syndrome that I seem to have and can't type very well. Uh, and not only that, it keeps you from making errors. So let's go 12, and then here this was 12, and on the next one it was 24, and 24. So let's see what this looks like when we run this. At, see if it adds, well, I'm going to leave the legend off at the moment, because we know that what that does. It causes lots of problems whenever you, we're using our studio. So I'm going to run this, and then I'm going to zoom in, and here you can see the lines have been added to the data. So the C green line is the line of best fit for the C green points. Uh, well, I guess it's not C green, but whatever these green is. Um, points. Uh, the blue is the line of best fit for these blue points. And the gray is the line of best fit for the gray points. And what you can clearly see here is the slopes on these are really don't look like they're the same. So it gives us a sense of what's there and what's not. Now, if we want to, which I think we probably do, is we probably want to change the line type on these because uh, they seem to be a little off-putting in the picture, but that's just a visual uh, problem. So what we can do is we can come back here and change our line type. So I'm going to do line type equals three because I think that is a dotted line, if I remember correctly. And if it don't remember correctly, just guess. Try it. And see if it produces the one you want. So we're going to come back, run this again, see what we get. And 
Now, I like this one better. This is just visually more appealing to me because the data stands out a little bit more than before because the lines were just too intense on it. All right, so now we've added these lines. Uh, we can stick a legend on here like we have did before just to finish off the picture. And we know that uh, RStudio is going to butcher the picture because of that. So I'm going to take the dev dot off, and I'm going to take the... Uh, the PDF statement off. I'm going to make this babies three because we've did babies one, babies two, and now babies three. We're going to run this and see what the picture looks like all together. So here, give it a go. Go to your desktop. Here's babies three. And sure enough, this is what the picture looks like, which doesn't look too bad, actually. So we have the points on here. We'd have the dashed lines on there just for reference. And we have the legend that tells us what month things correspond to. We could add another legend for the lines if we really, really wanted to. But I think everybody gets the idea since the colors match. All right, so this is the end of scatter plots for a while. Hooray! Um, now we're going to move on to making some summary statistics. So uh, we'll be done with our plotting for a little while, and we'll come back to it later. All right.